hey guys welcome back to hackison tutorials in this video i am going to demonstrate you about uh, hack the box challenge so most of our viewers have asked me to post a video uh, post videos regarding to hack the box so i have came back with those videos and uh, in this video i am going to solve a box a, a retired box from hack the box so let's see how to do it so let me explain you uh, clean and clear so watch the video till the end guys so in this our target is uh, the box name is uh, legacy and the box IP address is 10.10.10.4 okay so just copying the IP address so whenever you are doing a hack the box challenge the first thing you have to do is uh, you need to do an initial scan with uh, nmap so let me start do a initial scan with nmap so this command uh, this hyphen sv means uh, it will give you the service version uh, that are running on the target and this a uh, it will the hyphen a will do a aggressive scan uh, over the target and let me hit enter and you need to wait for some time uh, till the scan completes is uh, the scan has been completed and uh, here you can see that uh, port number 139 uh, 445 and 3389 ports are open on the target and uh, by doing an aggressive scan uh, it has guessed that uh, the target is running uh, windows xp sp3 version and it is giving a percentage of 94 percentage um, and here also we can confirm conclude that uh, the target is running uh, windows xp so like that at the bottom also it is confirming that uh, it, the target is running uh, windows xp so that means uh, you know, uh, as per the exploit details uh, so windows xp systems are vulnerable to netapi uh, exploit so it is available by in metasploit by default so let's try it out first so if it exploits with that uh, netapi then then it was good okay so service post gree sql start so uh, in my previous videos itself i have told you that uh, every time uh, each and every time before starting metasploit uh, you need to run this command to uh, avoid uh, database uh, errors so while doing hack the box uh, you need to try each and every task okay so like this these things uh, port number 139 if you if you you need to try uh, all the chances all the ch ways to bypass or uh, to uh, exploit all the ways to exploit the target so in our case, uh, I, I know this this box is somewhat an easier box because it had, uh, by the by the starting itself we have we can conclude that uh, XP system we have got the result as XP system and we know that uh, Windows XP systems are vulnerable to NetAPI. So I am just try going to try that uh, payload. Okay, so search NetAPI. So it has giving me uh, four results, four exploit results, and uh, the rank according to rank this one is great uh, so let me choose this one so just copying it and type use so paste the exploit name and hit enter so now show options so here you can see that it is asking asking us for the r host so let me set the r host as um, targets ip address for let me clear it off and now let me exploit the target okay so hit enter so and wait for some time um, so this will exploit uh, so here you can see that it has started the reverse tcp and uh, now detecting the target and yes uh, it has found the target no it is yes we have got it now let's see this information system information here you can see that we are in the box okay so we have exploited it successfully so now let me see where we are pwd we are in the c folder so let me use dir command to find it so nothing is here pwd windows get uid 
so we are the authority that means uh, we are uh, in the root shell okay so let's search for uh, text files so I think uh, this was the command uh, to find text files okay so I forgot to give f dot txt enter so this will find out all this will get me all the uh, text details mm. so any user dot text yes uh, here it is so the user dot text is here and any root dot text file any any root dot text gadgets settings yes uh, here it is so we have found uh, both the flags so let me uh, okay now let's move on to that directory uh, cd space documents and settings and uh, when you are in the metropolitan session you need to use double quote uh, when it uh, when the file name contains space in between you need to use a uh, double quote don't forget that then only it will move on to that uh, folder so now you can see that uh, we are on that folder and now let's dir again and uh, here is the user cd space jvo hutchin john and let's dir it out again and see where it is where we have found that administrator john desktop it is in the desktop i yes uh it is in the desktop and now let's cat user dot txt and here we got uh this is our root flag so that's it and now uh, let's move let me copy it and paste it here so now let me move on to the administrator folder to find the root out uh, root flag so, mm, cd space administrators administrator okay, cd space desktop and now cat root dot txt so that's it uh, boom we have got the root flag too so this is how you need to uh, you this is how you are you need to play uh, hack the box to find uh, the root flags and user flags guys so like that uh, i'll be i'll be back with uh, more uh, hack the box challenges in the future so this is a sample video and this box is somewhat uh, very much easier so to you to hack into and uh, let's see uh, more uh, medium and uh, high level boxes in our future videos so if you are uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please like the video and share it to share it with your friends and if you want to know or uh, know more tricks and you want if you want more videos like this please click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icons to get immediate updates so thanks for watching guys have a nice day Brother,